Good morning, everyone. Um, very quick video. I wanted to show you something that happened recently. This is more so for our international followers. Um, I'll put the video in here. So I was just walking Reggie and he ran in over to that bush. Have a look at the size of this big fella. Holy shit. And this is about 200 meters from my house. I put a photo in when he was up. Jeez, there must be. If Reggie had a run in there, he would have grabbed him and tore Reggie apart. Holy shit, look at him. Look at the balls on it. All in Australia. So, yes, he was huge. Like, he looked big from the distance that I was at, so... I imagine um, up close, he would have been well and truly over six feet, especially when they get up on their tails too. And I've never seen one so big, so close to home. Um, if those that would remember, there was a video we put in, not last year, the year before, when I was standing out the front and a kangaroo jumped from down the hill behind our house over the fence which is six feet tall the fence onto the bonnet of our next door neighbor's car and then just hopped off down the street so uh in the country yes they are around even if you live in town they're around but they are magnificent animals so glad reggie listened to me and didn't uh run off Another thing that's been happening lately too is I've been doing a lot of work out the front, uh, painting and I changed the letterbox over, just been doing a little garden out the front and I want to show you what is a regular visitor when I'm out there. I'll put the video in now. It's a crimson rosella and quite often it will just be up there by itself while I'm working out the front. Now, Again, it could be a coincidence, but just one by themselves, usually they're in pairs and um, I always see it when I'm out the front, not every single time, but um, most times. So when I saw that the other day, yeah, it was, made me feel pretty good. The magpies are still coming. I've got some extra visitors, uh, mum and dad who've been coming for years, who nan, managed to get to come uh, to feed them. Nan was the one who brought them down in the first place. They've been coming for about, oh, maybe about 15 years now. They still come out the back, but then I have a family of four that come out the front and this is what I get every single day. So yes, it's beautiful to hear the magpies. I do really uh, enjoy hearing them. They've got such a unique call. Um, 
I have received some messages of people who have already received their stubby holders and I absolutely love them. Uh, that's great to hear. I think I fixed the whole problem with paying by Visa card or MasterCard. It was a setting that was a mistake on my behalf, but I didn't know it because nowhere does it say that you need to turn this setting off. So I think I have fixed that. I'm still trying, I'm still hoping that the next uh, lot of stubby holders that will arrive will be mid to late April. And the new hot pink ones arrived. Actually, I'll just go and get one. So yes, we got the updated version and the font is so much nicer. It's actually readable. We did give away all of the other ones that were faulty and they were given to the first hundred orders that had ordered only one or two stubby holders. If you ordered three or four, you didn't get that one, but they have all been handed out. And finally, uh, this one arrived. Get up with a smile on your face and don't be a dickhead. So I will put these up for sale when uh, I get the other order. I'm just gonna do it all in one batch because sometimes people might want this one and the other one. So I'm not gonna separate it because then people are paying postage twice. Anyway, that's about it really. Uh, have a happy Easter. I know that's this weekend. When this is posted, it'll be Wednesday. So enjoy your time with your family. Uh, have a great Easter. I hope the Easter bunny arrives and Annalise is coming home, which will be awesome. And no doubt we will do a family thing on one of the days. I'll be doing a little bit more renovating, so that will keep me busy. Anyway, get up with a smile on your face and don't be a dickhead.